Uh, scripture teaches that we're to be looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are to be engaged. We are engaged to Jesus Christ. We are part of the bride and he's the groom. And if we're going to follow this text in Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, we're seeing the church right now spoiled, being taken captive by the rudiments of the world. And uh, what I think needs to be happening now is that you too would explain what the rudiments are that are taking the people captive. Would, those things that are threatening the faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the first place I will start is probably with the book of Genesis. This is where uh, these teachers, these postmodern prophecy paradigm teachers, are attacking the very foundation of the book of Genesis. And they start in, in chapter 1, verse 1, where they come in with the gap theory. And then in chapter 3, when we get the first glimpse of the gospel of salvation, they tamper with that passage. And the main passage that is in all of their writings, all of their videotapes, mm -hmm. all of their publications is Genesis 6. And in Genesis 6, rather than taking the plain text of the scripture, what they're saying is they go to the book of Enoch, the apocryphal book of Enoch. And Enoch's watchers becomes the catch-all. These, the, these are the space aliens. These are the fallen angels. These are the bad guys. And the bad guys have come down through a, a portal in the multi-dimensional uh, space out mm. there, multi-dimensional hyperspace. They've come down in Genesis 6 and they've mated with human beings. And thus they have uh, procreated these mutant hybrids that are half demon and they're half human. And they have so procreated these mutant beings that that they're saying is the reason that God sent the flood on Noah's day. And we know that that attacks directly at the gospel of salvation. That is not the thrust of that passage. That's the, that's the brief overview of the problem. Now, it not only happened in that day, but these men are saying that it's happening again. And mm -hmm. as it says in Matthew, as in the days of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. These men are teaching that, you know what? Rather than what the scripture says, what's really happening is all of this is happening again. They bring in the space alien UFO lore, and they say that these watchers are actually space aliens. They're abducting women, impregnating them, and thus humanity as we know it is being threatened. And so that, that is what they're basically teaching, and then from there they, they let their imaginations run wild. They'll tack on the transhumanism movement, which we can talk about later. And they add in uh, other apocryphal books, Jasher, the Book of Enoch, uh, Rudolf Steiner's material, full-blown occult material, Manly Hall, uh, and so on and so forth. And this is like growing. As each author gets a take on it, it becomes bigger and bigger and more and more frightening and apocalyptic. And it's so far removed from what Christ himself taught about holy living and us, you know, living for him and looking for that blessed hope. It rewrites and does a whole end run around the book of Revelation. And so that's the basic overview of what the, the basic themes that these men are teaching.